scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Trending C. I'm Trini. This is C. Today in front of us we have Mad Labs Whiskey. AKA Mad Laboratories. <laughs> That's right. So this is a uh, distillery. This is a company from Vancouver. He's just a little um, guy. <laughs> I have tried their gin in the past okay. and was quite impressed actually. So I don't want to hold high expectations necessarily, but... Um, you know, it, it could be. But you might anyway. <laughs> but you might anyway. Like the, the, the paper almost feels like it's like wood. Oh, it is. It's like a skimmed off piece like of a tree. A, this is like cedar thing. I love that. Mad Laboratory Small Batch Handcrafted Single Malt Whiskey is brewed with 100% BC growing malted barley, distilled with a direct fire pot still, and carefully selected for aging on ex bourbon American white oak. Uh, barrels until it has developed a rich flavor and smooth finish. With very limited releases, you can be sure that this bottle of Mad Laboratory Single Malt Whiskey is something special, unfiltered, best enjoyed, neat. So this is also bottled at 59.8% alcohol. Um, release number six, and it has been aged for 40 months. So, so it's like 12, 24, years. 36, three years and four months. Wow. Perfect. So it's legal. It is legally you, Canadian. You, you open open this. this little guy? Yeah. I so only need back. to open one bottle at a time, I suppose. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, terrible throw. Okay. Kind of actually didn't really. So kind of cool. This is, again, you know, so it says release six. So they've put out a few of these, but this is our first taste of the yeah, we uh, never taste the, the single, product the single malt whiskey here and local again, local job small batch 100% malted barley bc growing so um i think a lot of the check marks are right on the label there you know you got local uh which means it's probably big um, percentage uh locally sourced all that kind of stuff is a good thing okay, there less of a footprint on the planet um, Good call. Okay. And uh, we'll see what happens. Quiet on set. Three, two, one. Oh, good little, little cork pop. I like that. Okay. Uh, synthetic cork, it looks like. A little synth pop. And let's see if there's any glug. Nice pre glug for a low guy. Yeah. Um, good color on this, too. I'm not sure if it's natural color or non chill filtered. I don't know if it's not mention it. But, um, cool. Okay. 59.8%. Okay. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> no wonder they're bottling little bottles of it. Oh. Oh, that's like a sweet candy note to that, start. That is a sweet candy note. A little bit of a like brown sugar, almost like rum barrel kind of a vibe. Yeah, okay, that's what it is. That's all, you're, I think you might be bang on. There's some, something kind of... Like rum raisin. But like even like molassesy and chocolatey or something. Yeah. Like um, not offensive to the nose. No. And it's... as we know, sometimes craft distillers are craft distillers can be rough yeah. to start. Um, but this is you know well aged and I would for say fifty nine point eight percent. I'm jamming my big nose in there and I'm not getting any kind of like negative reaction to the no, nose buds. Nothing like fusty or whatever you call it, like those kind of like sour off putting notes. Kind of Canadian vibe nose. Like it has that like Okay, I'm now I'm getting a little like bit of the single malty vibe. Okay. Um on the second kind of sniff. I mean being how bigly this is, yeah, this it is definitely is need, needs it's just a minute, minute to kind of get it going. up a bit. Yeah, like, get some just, of that alcohol. Just smash it around in there. Oh don't wrap it up. Yeah. Shut up. Do you know what? Let's let's get some of these molecules hitting each other. Yeah. Here. But it has a little bit like, I mean, I know it's not because it says it's 100% malted barley, but it has a little bit of that corn note on the back. Yeah, yeah. The Canadianism. There's a Canadianness to it. No, let's let's give it a taste and see if oh, it's... Oh, I'm getting a bit of that, that tangy oak too. Let's give it a taste and see if it's sure. as muscular as it claims to be. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Ooh. Okay. The fifty nine point eight shows up there. Mm. I get this kind of like fruit roll up kind of flavor on it. That's 
Honestly. It reminds me of like unfolding an old fruit roll up and you gotta pull yeah. that like kind of like pap paper plastic shit off the totally. side. And, like, but it's also like um, viscous enough that it's like kind of fruity. Like there's like a like a juicy fruit kind of Oh nice man, I'm fruit. I'm like fruit snacks and Yeah. I'm like fruit I'm actually relatively impressed at this point. But it has the like the the youth shows up a little bit in the like tanginess. You can taste the barrel. Yeah. It almost tastes like it might be aged in a like a smaller oak barrel. Mm-hmm. Because it's it does have that like white American oak kind of like zing. Almost, you know, how bourbon is aged in a fresh. So you get a nice oak. oaky presence and then big like fruit roll up, like fruit snack kind of like if you grew up in the eighties and there was this like sun kissed fruit packs and, and fruit roll ups. You're going to be um, loving this. It has that big, like that alcohol punch is much bigger on the flavor than it is on the nose. Definitely. You but know? it doesn't, um, it doesn't vaporize. And actually going back to the nose, like. It doesn't vaporize. It, the, the nose and the flavor match each other quite well. Like There's I, almost a fruity pebbles thing going on on this thing. Yeah, but like I can unoffensively drink this at 59.8. Yeah. Like I wouldn't even have to put water in here. This is, Although we should try it with water. There is a little bit of a uh, tangy bite to it. I might put a touch of water in here. Just a touch. Just give it a little water touch. There's what? a little bit of cinnamon toast crunch on there too. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cinnamon hearts kind of thing. A no. couple drops no, of No, no. Cinnamon, cinnamon toast, toast crunch. <laughs> yeah, it's got that, well, I mean, to be fair, that grainy kind of like doughiness yeah. is is that vibe. Yeah, and a little bit of water. I do find sometimes on these high potent. Bring it back to the, bring it back to uh, bring it back to maybe to this earth. will be a fifty percent right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that kind of brings out the sweet dough. I was gonna say, I get a lot Ooh. more cinnamon yeah. on the nose after putting a little bit of water in there. Wow, that's. You know, these guys are... Uh, they're onto something. They're onto something. They're, they're, they're onto something. I mean, you know what? I personally like it a little less strength like this. You know what? It's I personally good. liked it amped up the way it was. Really? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I like this. Anyway, yeah, um... Anyways, Mad Lab Fun. Mad Labs. Fun stuff from Mad Lab. Putting out some interesting products And they're so just far. getting going. Yeah, so that's that's, uh, it. that's cool. Like, what's this going to be when it's aged ten years? Yeah, totally. Like twelve this is, years. This is uh, as long as they kept some behind and aged. Yeah, more. yeah. But you know what? Like, after three years, it casts strength. Like, that's good. That's good stuff. Cool. All right. Well, hey, click like, subscribe, leave a comment if you've had Mad Labs, Mad Lab. Uh, I keep wanting Mad Labs. Mad I know, I keep pluralizing it. Yeah. Anyway, if you've yeah. had it, leave a comment. Cheers. Cheers. Nice sweater. Trendy and see.